extra hot forex so you know what it is it's thursday so let's do our daily analysis mm, yesterday we had a small profit uh, we were just trading uh, we tried to go live but uh, things didn't go well but today i think uh, things they will go as planned uh, i'll just start with nasdaq this is let's go to four hour time frame so when the market is pushing up like this i think the best way is to re uh, re 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 do your your trends line and stuff like that so that you can see the bigger picture because if you always draw on everything like you just leave them like for a week or two sometimes you no longer see the bigger picture so the bigger picture is please do change uh, your your analysis uh, like weekly if maybe you already drawn your lines if you can see the market is still pushing up so that you don't miss each and every opportunity that comes if you just uh, use if you don't like remove your your charts i mean the the trend line that you already drawn so we are on a very nice uptrend like this this is a four hour time frame you can see it's it's very very clear so uh, let me show you something you can see this we have this area here uh, this is an area where you can see that we can see it's a lower low it's like a support let me remove that you can see this so from this we had the market pushed up so this is the first attempt the second one we will, you should take the pro, uh, your first maybe position but obviously if you were like if you know what is going on obviously we want to take even the positions around here even here but here the market is far from the stronger support even if we have a very small support there so what do you do from here when if you don't want to miss this opportunities you should go to a bit smaller time frame on a bit smaller time frame you will see them very closely but be careful because the market can reject very easily from these areas you can see if you draw your trend line here you can see this is a, it's a nice support you can see maybe the, uh, the market came several time here you can see you can even see here i just drawn this now but sometimes i don't have to force the market to give whatever that uh, i need we had some like we had a trade for france 40 we did kill it so even here i think we just have to wait for the market maybe to reach like fourteen thousand three hundred. unless if we have a very clear rejection when i say clear rejection i need something like this something like this where the market will just reject then i can say we can have a nice buy sometimes you don't have to be addicted uh, to trading every day if you don't see any good opportunity it's fine sometimes you can even take three days without uh, taking any position for like instrument which is something like a nasdaq why because we were waiting for a nice move that we want a, a nice sell-off that we can get before we can say it's a buy at the moment yes the market can still push up but when the market retraces or when the market sells off you will see that it's going to go crazy but at the moment at the moment i see it still maybe pushing up but this this uh this support is very steep guys it's it will be easily broken i think so if it breaks then we will see where we can draw our new support or resistance but at the moment uh, we can see that the market is just pushing higher you see so the overview for today let's see let's go to a bit higher time frame you can see this this thing is very like steep so it means we, we just have to wait let me just use some i just want you to see that you don't have to force this so you can see that the market is moving like this now it's moving like that so i'm waiting for a small pushback before maybe we can say the market has to push up but i'm not saying maybe we're not going to take some trades we can but at least if we have a very nice and visible uh, setup that we can rely on sometimes we can we don't just want to lose like easily 
so you just have to make sure that you can see that clearly but even here maybe you can see that clearly maybe on a very very smaller time frame then yeah maybe you can see that uh, but that should also make sense on a bigger time frame guys we don't have to just force the market to give us what we want so today i think the market can still break here and go lower maybe we can see the market will reach like 14,500. if not uh, we'll see the market maybe pushing up obviously or another thing tomorrow there's nfp we can see the market selling off then with the nfp we can see the market pushing up again this is what is happening most of the, of the time so uh, you can rely on that so on an hour let's see if on an hour we can see something different i don't see anything different i can see that the market is still pushing up but it's not reliable we can't trust this support so the market can be broken and uh, this support can be broken anytime so i i think the market can reach like 14,440 before i can take that buy so what can we do from here we just do nothing just wait for that nice structure and then you can have a nice trade and a very safe trade so let's go to us 30 and see what we can get from there if you forgot to smash that subscribe button uh, it's your time now to smash that uh, yesterday on the live trade we had a very small um, buy around here i think we got out very quickly because we got it late because the network was very bad i was trying to connect with zoom and other stuff so things were not on our side but you know what we we did not lose that we made some nice profit so a uh, us data is also going up crazy it's also going up crazy so what can we expect from that we also have something here this is a four hour time frame guys on a four hour time frame guys you can see this is an area that we can say we can throw a resistant so after that resistant we should know that okay maybe the market will respect that if not we will see a breakout if uh, that breakout happens we can still say now maybe we can buy i think it's 34,850. it's where we can expect uh our resistant yeah it's where we can expect our resistant yeah it's something like that let me remove this this was the stop loss that we had yesterday sorry it's the stop loss that we had yesterday so we made some small profits but which is better than nothing so it means here we just have to wait for the market to give us a nice resistant if this resistant is not respected we'll see a breakout then we can take another buy but if it's respected like tomorrow i think the market can reach this area anytime soon is 34850 i think when we we uh, nfp tomorrow is released i think the market can sell off very like strong we can see a, st a strong sell off before the market can push up i think this area can be respected i'm not saying that if if maybe the market doesn't respect that don't just play me guys this is how i see the analysis this can be respected if not maybe we'll see the market breaking that if it breaks we will wait for a retest then we can have some nice buys but but uh this the overall picture here is we having a very nice uh, uptrend even if sometimes this strong momentum they don't really create a nice sometimes they don't really create nice uh, structure because the market just push up very quickly so it means we have to change that now and then we can try to draw something like this why because you can see the market did something like this so we can expect maybe the market to reach this area that 34,400 if it does respect this if not we will see a breakout so since we are all very close to resistance we just have to wait i can't see the market will go down or high we just have to wait if the market breaks that we can say maybe yeah now we have an idea 
if it is not broken we will see maybe the market creating something like this you see but on a bigger picture again on a bigger picture again when you draw something like this if we draw something let me just go to a daily time frame i just want to show you something on a bigger time frame guys you can see that the market is actually moving if maybe let me draw something like this so the market is actually doing something like this we can see that's why i say maybe tomorrow we can see another sell off something like this unless if we have a breakout then it's where we're going to say we're going to buy but at the moment you just have to relax why we are very close to our resistance anything can happen here we can see a very strong sell off this is a daily time frame guys so that's why i say maybe the market can create something like this we can see another sell off why because this is a resistance here if it's broken we will look for a buy or bullish uh, positions only you see don't forget to smash that subscribe button guys so what uh, let's check uh, what, what's happening on 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 gold because gold was also like pushing up yesterday so remember even gold is also affected by a um, let's say it's affected by nfp so on gold we have something like this so if you remember we had this uh, crazy support here for some time now and the market tried to push lower but it seems like the market is now trying to push up again so this i told you that the market can consolidate around this area because the market doesn't want us to have like simple buy opportunity here and after this i think maybe some people they are closed out we also have had some nice positions here we closed that because the market was just going lower so what can we expect i exp i still expect the market to push higher you see so let's go to a four hour time frame and see what we can expect from there mm, let's see okay you can see that the market created some crazy moves here and if you remember i said this might be a fake breakout and it seems to be a fake breakout so we can draw something like that and see if maybe let's just go to a two hour or an hour time frame I want to show you something that you can do to confirm this momentum this bullish momentum you can draw as we you know we use like trend strategy trend trading strategy we connect most uh, you can see that I think it's quite simple now huh? let me remove this it seems like it's like something like this now or let me do something like this i just want to see if this no it doesn't really make sense let me try to connect something because guys i'm doing these things live with you here so i don't have to pre-draw these lines i just want to draw something here that you see i think we can connect mm, let's see something like this yeah th this is a nice breakout if we, you come closely it means we can have some nice i want to show you something so it means from back then we had this you can see here if this thing doesn't throw nicely we had this area here as a support you can see that so from there we see that the market was just respecting this resistance here after breakout you can see the market that uh, did retest before the market pushing up you see so it means here actually we can have the market maybe might push up again but remember if you go back we can also draw something like this there is an area that it seems to be a resistant if you go to a bit higher time frame then when the market pushes up I, up you should also check that check to your left and see if that area still exists and if it's broken it's where you should be like uh, you see the area that i'm talking about the area that i'm talking about you can see you can see this 
actually this is a zone if you connect to that that is a zone if the market reaches this area don't just keep buying because the market can go lower quickly so make sure that you are you lock your profits or whatever then until the market breaks this area it's where you can say now i can add my uh, you can scale up you can add your buy position and go in higher but at the moment since we missed this one i'm just going to wait for the market to do its thing until we reach this level then i'm going to wait for the market to to break that if not if that doesn't happen i'll just wait i'll just check other things then i will focus on them for that time being then when i come back maybe i'll find a very nice structure please guys apply your risk management risk management uh, will keep you uh, on the game so you should have a strategy if the strategy you have it's working uh, you don't have to change that just apply your trading plan on that strategy i'm talking about uh, like risk management uh, you should have your targets your trading plan um, is the strategy profitable or do you cope with uh, whatever that you're trying to follow sometimes people they can't even cope they just lose whatever that they are they change strategy every day that it's also some issues you should know your strategy and keep improving your strategy guys uh, we will talk tomorrow on friday i hope you're having a good one don't forget to smash that subscribe button like and share this is kenzo extra hot forex bye